All right, well, we're headed on a leak call right now, and I got to tell you, man, it, today's been one of those days. Um, I had four calls, and of those four calls, I'm going to get to do one. Luckily, my customers are good customers of mine, and they, you know, understood, and uh, they're going to let me come in the morning. But what happened is when I went to leave the house this morning, I had a blowout on this truck, and... Uh, Brand new tires I had just put on here uh, about six months ago, maybe a little more than that. And uh, I bought this truck used, and when I didn't, when I didn't, when I bought the truck, I didn't pay attention, and I went over there to, to look under it, and there was no spare tire. So I had to call a tow truck, and then I was out here by the house, so I had it towed back to the house. I uh, took the tire off, went to the tire shop, they put me a new tire on the rim, went back to the shop, and uh, put the tire on, and. And I'm just now getting to work, and it's freaking three, almost 3:30 in the afternoon. And the only reason I'm getting to catch this call is because it wasn't scheduled till 3:30. So luckily, I was able to get this one. And um, what we got here is is uh, one of our big, one of our bigger companies here in town um, come out and um, found a leak on the condenser, and did didn't even offer to fix it. They just left the lady a quote for a whole new system and left and I talked to the lady's husband last night on the phone and he called us for another opinion and uh, come check it out and he said he would love to do a new system but he said he's just not financially able to do a new system and you know I can understand that you know so it's, you know not everybody can so we're fixing to pull up here and we'll see what we can find something interesting all right so we're on the job and we're in the bushes and what we've got is we got an Amana unit. Um, and I, I can't visibly see anything. Nothing is really sticking out to me or showing up, but it is empty, that's for sure. The unit is definitely empty. Um, so I'm going to go get some uh, nitrogen and uh, put some nitrogen on the system and uh, see what we can find. Okay, I found the leak. This is a 2003 Amana. No reason to condemn this unit. This is the kind of stuff that these big companies do that pisses me off. They condemned this unit and tried to sell them a whole new system because of this. See, that's the heat sampling tube where you check it in the heat pump mode. It's going to take me two seconds to repair this thing. That's why you always honest with your customer. This big company just lost another job. And, and, uh, and honestly, they could probably give a crap less because the technician was probably too lazy to, to solder that up because he's a service technician. If he sells a new system, he'll never be back over here. It's going to take me two seconds to fix that. So guys... If you go in business for yourself, be honest with your customer. Do what's right. All right, I got us a nice fat weld on there. Welded that sucker up real good. I put a new Schrader core right behind there, which is where you hook your suction line up in the heating mode. And uh, it looks like it looks like something's wrong with this plug because somebody has put a zip tie around it to hold it which I mean it'll work you know but they could have went and got a new plug but you know whatever I was called out here to fix the leak I think I did I'm putting nitrogen on it right now matter of fact we are at 200 pounds we're at 203 I don't hear nothing leaking I'm gonna wash the gauges and make sure she holds and put a vacuum on it and call the homeowner because the other company that came out, the disconnect is out, and I can't find it. I don't know where the pullout is. So maybe the homeowner's got it, or, but we'll see. And if the pressure holds, we'll put a vacuum and charge it up, and he'll have, he'll have air. All right, I'll show you all what kind of unit we got here. You see right there.
We've got an Amana RHA36C2A. Serial number 0309904429. That tells me that it's from September of 2003. And this unit was condemned. The customer was told it was unfixable and left him a quote for a new system. The pressure is holding, and that's the customer calling me. All right, so I got a vacuum being pulled on it. After the vacuum, we're gonna charge it up. Uh, about eight pounds is what this system calls for. And then we are going to get this unfixable Amana back up and running. All right, we're charging this unit up. Good news, I found the pull out for the disconnect. It was uh, covered up in leaves down there, so I found that. Calling for uh, eight pounds. Got about two pounds in her, almost three. There's my wireless scale. Zach, I saw you got one. Glad to see you got one, brother. You're gonna love it. So, uh, I've already got the thermostat calling for cool. So, as soon as we can get to eight pounds or close enough to it, I'll plug her up and we'll, uh, we'll get this unrepairable unit running again. All right, eight pounds later, and the unrepairable Amana is up and running. Looks like we might still be just a hair low, but we're gonna let her run and stabilize and do a target superheat. Go up uh, up in the house and get a dry bulb, and a, I'm sorry, in the house and get a wet bulb and get a dry bulb out here and see what our target superheat is. I've already went and checked the air handler. The air handler's been replaced before. Um, it's a newer Goodman air handler, but it's got a piston, so of course we'll charge this by superheat. So uh, let her stabilize, and and then we'll check the super, see what the required superheat is, and we'll get out of here and get her uh, charged up to what it's required for. All right, our target superheat is 18.8. We're at 25.5. Which is within five degrees, come and still coming down. So I would say that this one here is fixed, and uh, it's running good. It's making a little noise. That's just the, uh, the cage there. You can hear it right there. Put, put your hand on it; it stops. And uh, this uh, unrepairable Amana is back on its feet, and. Um, you know, it was just sad that these people tried to sell the whole new system because, like I said, the air handler's been changed. And it was like an 06. This is an 03. This is an 06. So I'm wondering why the uh, air handler was changed so soon. I guess it had a leaky coil, and it still seemed like it would have been under warranty. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But I got the system up and running, and uh, that's all I can do for him. I mean, uh, should be a happy customer, though, you know. Like I said, he didn't have the funds to change the system, and uh, I don't blame him for, you know, questioning because this was a situation where he didn't need a new system, just a simple repair. So he'll be good to go, and and uh, that ought to do it for this one, and we'll see y'all on the next one.